Yo guys, how you doing? This is Cobra with uh, my latest video. I just wanted to start off by saying a big thank you to everyone that's helped support the channel. Um, I've seen a massive increase in uh, subs and also it's great that you're all interacting with each other and replying to various people's comments. That's fantastic. So I think it's really important for anyone that does these type of videos to make sure that authenticity can be proven. So as you can see, I'm yellow water right now. My food is not gonna to be too far behind that. Now you may remember in my last episodes, how to succeed on official servers, I uh, built a little base and I had a load of top grade gear. The good news is that some of you got to my base location that I posted out and was able to take some gear. So I hope you enjoyed that gear for the period of time you had it. So now I'm starting pretty much afresh. Uh, the one thing I have done though is I've already... Uh, zombies here. We're going to try and ignore them for the time being. Um, I have already been over and chosen my new Livonia home server. Um, I have built a small four-door base, which I will show you at the end of this video. That's where we're going to be storing any of the gear that we are able to locate. We don't really want to be getting into fights with zombies right at this moment in time. Uh, the server's uh, a high pop server. So I want to be leaving as little trace as possible. So I'm going to take this zombie in this building and we'll fight him, fight him in here. Um, one of the things on the 1.13 update that is a little bit more difficult is the fact that zombies can now hear you from a lot longer distance away. Um, I'm at the moment, from my limited game time since the update, I'm kind of guessing that they're hearing me from at least five to six meters away. I mean, let's check this out. Oh, okay, so, hold on. He's already heard me, the one in the orange hat. Let, let's check this out fully. There you go. So look at that distance. He's seen me, he's heard me, he's gonna come over now, I have no doubt. There you go. So, that is quite a distance, there's both of them now, two of them coming. That's a distance. That is a, quite a big distance. So this is gonna make life very, very difficult in terms of trying to be sneakily entering towns. Um, okay, oh shit, okay. We need the matches, that's a good thing. One of the other things on the 1.13 update, the zombies at first were, were able to hit you or strike you from a long, long distance away. So I was getting hit from about four meters away. Uh, it appears they fixed all of that now, which is great because that was a complete pain in the ass uh, and completely unrealistic. So that's good they fixed that. Okay, if you're lucky cows. You are lucky. So let's get this water up. And as you should know by now, I like to make sure that my uh, vitals are as high as they possibly can be. So this will bring me on nicely to uh, a new tip for you. It's quite obvious, but again, you'd be surprised. A lot of people don't know it or don't practice this. And that is food and water. Always make sure that you drink and eat as much as the food that you've currently got on you as you can. And there's two specific reasons for that. One, it always keeps you in, oh, fuck's sake. It always keeps you in a healthy kind of situation because that affects the, whether you get ill table or not. Oh no, they're just fucking everywhere. I'm gonna have to kill this guy. <laughs> Um, and secondly, as a freshie, you are likely to get killed. 
or die. Either way, what you don't want to do is leave behind loads of food and water for someone else to come and pick up or take off you. So here's another tip for you, um, for you guys. This could be classed as cheating really and going against the object of playing the survival aspect of DayZ. But if you are, I'm going to tell you anyway, if you are really, really struggling to get off the ground in this game, then you do actually have a couple of options that could help you, could massively help you. One of them would be this. Shinaris is notoriously difficult finding food. I say that, and at the moment I'm doing all right. Um, finding food. So, if you've got the Livonia map, it is really advantageous that if you, for instance, want to play on a Chinara server and you want to stay on the Chinara server, but you're running around constantly getting killed, then jump over to a Livonia server where it is widely known gaining food and water is a lot simpler. Well, a lot simpler. It's a lot easier. So you are going to spawn. You're guaranteed to spawn. I'll take that. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let's see, that that should do some damage for me. Yes, it will. Okay, good. So you're guaranteed to spawn when you hit Livonia in one of a few places. You'll either get Bailawa, Lucal, Brenner, Colin Brody, or Gravin. They're the places you'll get. And all of those are towns that have water fountains and have animal spawns and towns, town towns, with loads of houses. So... What people have started to do, um, it's not something that I do, but it does help you get off the ground should you need to. They hit Livonia, get loads of food and water, or get enough anyway, and then they jump back onto a Cherno server. Now, like I said, some of you are really not going to like that. Some of you are going to say, well, what's the point in playing? It goes against the survival situation. I'm talking about those kind of newer type of players who are getting pissed off with the game because that's all that's happening. You're just getting murdered every few minutes and you're not getting a chance to experience the game. So there's an easy tip for you. So we've just dealt with these two zombies and we're going to be aiming for Zlenogorst uh, to begin with actually. Now I'm going to change my, my objectives. Um, the reason being is because I can't find a lot of resources uh, down here at the moment in the, in the town of Chinaris. So we are going to hit this hill. There is a tower not far from here. And then we're going to head due north up the map to Zlenogorst. Now this is going to be dangerous because I have no weapons at all on me. And I'm going to be going into some high tier military areas. So... Like I said, there's a high, high chance that I may die. Okay, so let's get into sharing a couple more tips and tricks with you. So first things first. Sprinting versus jogging. Now, there's various uh, different opinions on this. For me, it's the same as whether you play third person or first person. It's the same argument. I think it all comes down to your preferred player method. So I like playing third person because when my character's geared, I like to see him with what he's got on him or her. I like to see what they're wearing. Um, and also it gives you different views. And in terms of running, sprinting and jogging, I think I'm the kind of player that likes to get from A to B as fast as possible. Now, yes, if I was to do this and just jog, um, then yes it does preserve a little bit more energy but as you can see from my food bars there I'm still minus three strikes every time I'm jogging so whether I'm jogging like this or I'm sprinting like that it's not really affecting me too much um, you may get a few extra minutes out of it I'm sure you do uh, this is the pub by the way on the right that goes um, just short of the uh, road that heads up all the way up to Zlenogorsk um, the other thing is, if you're jogging like this, and you're in any kind of, 
kind of open scenario like this, it is such an easy shot for me. Any weapon I have, you're going to be dead very quickly doing that. Uh, so, for me, sprinting is always the best option. And again, the same rules apply. The same ground rules, golden rules, should we call them. If you've watched my uh, How to Succeed on Official Servers, the same rules apply. So, know the map. If you know the map, then I can happily sprint from one town to the next, taking shortcuts without having to worry about what road I'm on and all the rest of it. So, for instance, I know I'm getting to the next town, which is not far from here now, which is about a kilometre away from where I currently am. In fact, you can just see in the distance up there the big um, warehouse. Um, I know that I've got more than enough supplies within my bodily system here to get me to that area. So, sprinting for me is no problem whatsoever. So, another tip for you. If you're on a road or an open field, it sounds so simple and so easy, but people don't do it, you know. In those scenarios, always sprint. You leave your jogging for a place in the trees. Is that a crate? It is a crate. That might come in handy. Food. Right, this is a little bit of a risk, but we're going to go. So there's a heli crash site over there. This, I have no doubt, and it's lagging. I have no doubt that this here, there's a player camp in it. I have absolutely no doubt about that. So we are going to scout this out a little bit. There's no zombies there, which means that someone has already hit it but what they may have done there you go so there's a shot over in Zlenogorsk what they may have done though is left a weapon any weapon and there's quite a few shots in Zlenogorsk actually so we're getting rid of the food one so we don't give it to anyone else should we get killed but secondly I want to get as much uh, as my vitals up as possible We've got to keep a sharp eye out. There's definitely no zombies here. We'll probably see dead bodies on the floor in a minute. So what have we got? Well, hold on. Hold on a minute. Maybe this hasn't been hit. We don't need that. This may not have been hit after all. Hold on. Give me a gun. Come on now. We'll take the compass anyway. Not that I need it. Okay, well, there's fuck all it has been hit. Cause there's nothing else here. Okay. So there's a couple of little bits we've managed to pick up there. Um, and we need to just get out of this whole area. As it's open field. Um, is someone in the trees up here waiting to snipe me when I get a little bit closer? More than likely. But if so, we will deal with that in a second. I can't see anybody just yet on either side. But there's a little town here, or a little, a little village that comes in really handy when you need to get to Zlenengorst and you come in this direction. Now, ordinarily... I would be cautious and I'd sit up in this tree, overlook the town for a couple of minutes, maybe a minute, and I would just see if anyone's running about or what's happening. And if the coast was clear as a freshie, I'd be straight down and uh, we'd be looting. But, because we've got nothing to lose, we haven't really got anything worth having. Ah, there you go. Okay, so we've got a shotgun now, which is good. Okay, so get rid of the crowbar. Shotgun's now coming in. We'll take that over the shovel in the infantry. So we now can at least defend ourselves a little bit. We'll take that straight away. 
That shot is not actually coming from Zenagors. It's coming from the train track to the left of it. So that's people trying to get up to Zenagorst. That's a working car. Nothing in it. This is really, really laggy. Which is not helpful. So there could be somebody here. They may even know that I'm here and just be waiting for that opportunity to shoot me. Let's hope we can get a blaze or something out of here. Because we've already got the ammo for it. We're going to duck down a little bit. This has been picked clean. Nothing in here at all. So that's already been hit. Now, we are... There's a base here, look. Okay. That's why I'm lagging everywhere. Nothing in the barrel. Oh, okay. Crates. Nothing we want. Okay, we've got gloves. We'll take that. Okay, for the time being, we're going to take an armband. We'll take those seeds as well, just in case. I'll just stuff up there as well. Okay, so someone has just been here. Clearly just been here. Take that. Okay, so that is probably who's shooting. There is someone right here trying to build that base. So we're going to get out of here and we're going to run straight down this tree line. So now we've got cover. This is the way into Zlenogorsk that you should be looking at. Because once you get into this little valley down here, it's going to be very difficult for anyone to see you from any position because the hills do cover you. Just got to be careful that we've not been followed by whoever's building in that barn. So remember, with Lenagorsk, this is the first big military where you can actually find some good stuff. Um, so you would be finding uh, quite, a, well, quite often actually, night vision goggles. Um, I found M4s down here before. Um, in fact, the only guns I haven't found in here is an LAR and a VSD. Everything else I have found in Zlenogorsk previously. Um, this is really, really laggy down here as well. So you've got a couple of options here. You can either scout the compound out first, or we can just go for it. Now, the problem I've got right now is I've only got a shotgun. Really laggy. People tend not to loot the town. Oh, hold on, is that Mosin? It's a Mosin. Okay, 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 okay. So we've got some rounds for the Mosin. We've only got two. However, yeah, that is much stronger than the shotgun. Now this is where we've got to be a tad careful. The reason I'm wearing an armband is because it makes other people think that I'm not alone. And if it's a single player, they will think twice before they engage. So I can scare people, really. Ah, food. Now, if I had a scope right now, I'd go on top of the fire station. Damn, this is so laggy around here. We're going to go the back route in. And we're going to try and get in without setting off any zombies. Because if we can get a good shot on people here...
We could get straight into there now, but it's clearly already been here. Oh shit. That has backfired. Damn. I knew it was asking a lot to try and get in there without being uh, setting off anything. But someone, if they're here camping, would have heard that. And what we must do now is be really quick and hopefully get something out of this. Is that an ATOG? It is an ATOG. And take that. Okay, good. We've risked it. We've got a few little bits again. Now it's time to get out of here. If we get into these trees, we should be good for a while. Over there to the left is a, a few hunters uh, bits and pieces hidden in the woods that many of you will know about. And many of you would have um, visited there. Right, well, just to the left of um, Green Mountain. It used to be a really popular place for base building as well. But I haven't seen bases in there for a while. Okay, so the lag has started up again. Now, if we go to Green Mountain, it is a dodgy little place, Green Mountain. We've got limited ammo. But there are a couple of ambush sites right at the front of, uh, of Green Mountain that we could set up and hope to catch a player um, as it stands right now so we're limited with res oh, there's a tent here okay and this is what see this is what people are doing a lot nowadays anything useful Okay, we'll take that. Ah, oh, what a beautiful surprise that is. Okay, so let's get rid of the shotgun now. We're going to give him a shotgun, but we're taking that. Like I say, I don't, I don't like to do people over. Let's not wreck all their stuff. I'm just swapping it. That's all I'm doing. Just swapping the guns that we have available. That's it. We've got a full 30 round in there. Brilliant. We'll talk about this in a minute because this is a new trend. Um, so, you tell me your views on this. I mean, I've seen a lot of things change in terms of base building over the years. The latest trend now is for players to get tents with camo nets on like that and put them in forests. No protection, no nothing, just hide them away in areas where it is least likely to attract traffic. Now, for me, that is a real, real dodgy situation. Um, I can understand why some people have decided that's, that's the way to go for them. But for someone like me, that is so easy. I don't have to do any work at all. And like I say, going back to the number one golden rule, if you know the map you're playing... And you know it well. That is no problem for me. Because I know where all these forests are. Um, the likelihood is that the bases will be somewhere in the middle. And um, you just look for densely populated areas. That's all you do. And if you do that, the chances are you're going to find them. And once I have found them, you're losing everything. I don't like the look at this right now. We're not going to go there. We're going to move on. So what I've seen is normal uh, builds, uh, watchtower bases, massive ones, you know, uh, normal gate builds, all the rest of it. That then changed to smaller base builds, but with dig sites. Then there was a, a kind of a trend that was going along where people would build in houses and barns. And the thought process behind that would be that it'd be really, well, a lot more difficult and a lot less building. And now it's got to a stage where uh, people are either leaving empty, well, leaving crates out in bushes, hoping that they're not going to be seen, because obviously the dig site spawns go within 11 days now, which is 
I can understand, but again, very, very simple. It's easier finding a crate hidden in a bush than it is finding a dig site. And then this tent situation, just grabbing tents, camoing them up with the nets and leaving them completely exposed in the wilderness. Now don't forget, it is a lot harder, much, much harder for me when I'm base raiding if you have even one door with a four digit code lock or even a three digit code lock because with a three digit code lock it's going to take me seven minutes of sitting there clicking through it to open it with a four digit i'm not even going to waste an hour trying to break it i'll probably give it five minutes with the date of births um that i uh combinations that i've told you before uh, about in my earlier episodes and if i can't crack it in under that very short period of time then I'm going to grenade it, or I'm going to melee weapon it. Now, melee weapon, uh, using those, it's going to take multiple weapons and quite a bit of time, at least seven, eight minutes to get through one small part of that one door. So I'm going to need about four or five melee weapons, at least. If I grenade it, I'm going to need five grenades, so that's going to make a lot of noise. Um, and it gives players an opportunity to defend themselves or defend their bases so you tell me you make your own minds up what what do you all think the trend is what it is now but it's not the way to go i really don't think it's the way to go i really don't see the point in it i found quite a few now in fact you've seen in my last few episodes you've seen how easy that is i just find these locations that are in uh, albeit remote areas but i i know those areas well so i find them and i'm just taking everything anything that i need now the problem with that is some players love to be a little bit toxic and they will popcorn everything you've got and then of course you get demoralized you get pissed off and uh, you end up either moving to another server or quitting the game you know or not playing for a while and i think that's just counterproductive really um just accept the fact no matter what your base if you build one is going to get raided at some point but you can make it extremely difficult to get into it. Or oh, secondly, if you're not going to have a base, then why don't you go back to using dig sites? All you've got to do is log in every, I would say, seven, eight days, dig them up, and then redig them. So, all right, you're going to need a few more shovels than normal. But ultimately, that is the safest way. Right now, that's the safest way if you're going to hide them without having a base. Now the key aspects of having a base is that you build as many doors as you can but on the flip side of that you're going to end up giving lag away. So there is no perfect answer and that's down to us individually to work out how we want to how we want to go about it. I mean for instance are people now just using the official servers to run around and BVP? You know I don't think that's the case. I'm sure there are many of you that do that. But if you've had a successful run just PvPing and you can't carry anymore, but you've just killed another player and they've got some tier 3 weapons, you know, they've got another VSD, another LAR, another M4, whatever, and you just cannot carry it, what are you going to do? Are you just going to leave it? Or are you going to try and stash it somewhere? So, although I would say get rid of all the shit you don't want, to reduce the lag at a base and reduce the storage work out your favorite gun work out maybe the top two guns that you like to use and only take the ammo and the weapons for that gun anything else unless you're refreshing you need it just to get by get rid of it what's the point you're just creating lag and loads of issues with storage um i think that's definitely the way to go that's that's what i do and it reduces my lag massively my bases don't need to be massive things um, and I can get away with that quite easily as you saw on the um, on my last series my base had survived the entire four four episodes which was the space of I think two three months anyway it'd be interesting to hear your views so please do leave comments um, on this video and tell me what you're thinking if you come out with some ingenious ways that I don't know about and I've not thought about, then again, please, you know, please feel free to share. 
because the community of Daisy will only benefit. Okay, so we're approaching VMC now. And there is generally, if anyone's sniping or camping, they're going to be on those rocks to begin with. I don't particularly, I haven't got here, I don't particularly now want to take major risks when I don't need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scout VMC out a little bit. And we're just going to see if there's anyone here. Again, I cannot see anybody at the moment. And what I do is, I like to always keep moving. Because otherwise you're, a, you're just an easy target. And I will just gently jog. Making sure that there's nothing over there waiting to jump out on me or has got a clear shot on me. And what I'm looking for is any dead bodies, zombie wires. Everything's going to be open because it gets hit regularly. Yeah, everything's definitely open there. Zombies are all live. So now we're going to go a little bit quieter. There's a couple of heli crashes around this area as well. And we're just going to see if it's worth our time going inside here. Because we know that there's a zombie the other side of this wall right now. Okay, so we are now off out of VMC. And we're heading straight for NWAF, which is just up here. I thought there was a player then, but there's a zombie running out after the noise I made. Coming out of there. Okay, so now's the time. Gun in hand, everywhere you go, pretty much. I've just checked the server. It's still... There you go. There's a shot over there to the left. Should we go and engage? It's a lot of open... It's a lot of open ground. It's over at that industrial, I think. See, I can't tell right now. It is literally on that industrial site. Now, this is where a scope would be coming in very handy right now. But as we haven't got one, what we're going to do is, and bearing in mind that there's a full server, everyone that's there, everyone will be alerted. Let's have a look. Is it 1v1? And where is it? Do you know what? We're here to do something, so let's go and have a look. What we really want to get here is on top of one of the big industrial buildings. It's right there, look. So what I may do... Is it's inside, right inside. I need to get on that outskirts of. Oh, there they are. It looks like there's two people there. And there's trees chopped down, so there's probably a base here as well. people are here that's the question and can we get a shot okay there's a guy running there if we can get on top of one of those big buildings We've got a chance of taking both of them out. Fuck's sake, this game. Always fucking messes you up right when you don't want it to. The question's going to be though 
can we get on top of the building? Someone in here. We need to get away from that. We need to get away fast. And we need to get a decent position. That's what we need to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and try and get onto one of those buildings. stamina at all. That is poor stamina wise. So there's nothing being built there. Just have a little look. See if we can see anything. We really could do with a scope here. And we've got to be careful. About players getting on other buildings as well. So I can hear footsteps creeping to my left and over there to my right. This isn't the best position to be in right now without a scope. Right now, a blaze would. Ah, uh, there he is. Okay. Okay, has he seen me? Is he in there? Because what we could do is go and engage. wherever this guy comes out of. Hopefully he's going to come out of that door. Still really lagging around here. building in there you know what let's go and have a look so he is building in there
Oh, there he is. He's over there. Okay, I see. He is directly over there. I mean... Oh, here he is. Now what they should probably be doing here is getting ready to push me. In which case I'm going to be a sitting duck here. So he's going to be patching in that little area there. So this is where we really need a scope. Blaze would have fucking wiped him clean out. Now, because there's at least two of them, I can't really push that without knowing the numbers and knowing what I'm dealing with here. There's definitely a guy inside that camo container. There's a guy to the left behind the uh, rusted truck. It says at least two, and I'm assuming that because they were quite happy to make loads of noise and fire off, I'm assuming there is at least two. So probably three, if not four. And if they're any good, they're all going to come around. They're going to search the area as a team. And they should quite easily at that point overcome a single player. Now, a situation right now is this I need to really relocate from this position I don't think they know where my shots have come from however I need to get I need to get sight on if that player is dead or not I don't think he is I think he's very low health but I don't know where his mate is or the rest of that team what I could do with is getting on top of that bloody big roof but that is getting quite close and I haven't seen any movement have they logged there is no return of fire uh, there you go so one's making noise Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. One's running. So with a bit of luck, they're going to think that that was me, that whoever that player there is. So let's see how this plays out. So there he goes, he's gone round the side. <laughs> Just got to be careful that my back isn't exposed there. So there's at least three players there now. Okay, let's quickly get, let's quickly food up here. If only we had a scope right now, we would be laughing. Right, so what I'm going to do, this is going to be risky. But we need to see what's going on. So 
we're going to go round. We're going to go up here. We're going to go round. And we're going to come back down. Hopefully. Into this tree. We're going to try and position ourselves on these bodies somewhere. Or near to them. Where hopefully we've got ourselves a little bit of camouflage. Right underneath the tree. So what we could do is go right round, get on top of this building here. And see what is happening. With encounters like this, it always pays off to be patient. If you just rush in there, not knowing where anyone is or what has gone on, there's a high possibility you're going to get overrun or completely outnumbered. And we just need to see some movement have an idea as to what exactly is going on but you can't stay here all day so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a run for it if we die we die no there you go he didn't die to be careful, that's all. So there's some zombies. At least I think they're zombies, so let's check that out. Oh, there they are. Shit. There's three of them. And there they go. Yeah, there they go. I think I've been spotted, to be fair. in that direction but I think I've been spotted and there is three of them so we're just gonna take a little detour you can't fight the odds like that and win all the time so I know where they're going They may be just trying to double back on us here. But with the limited amount of ammunition I have, there is very little chance I am going to be able to win that fight for EV1. So we are now detouring somewhat. And we're going to head for NWAF if we can get there without them spotting us and coming back. We've crept up on them. We've seen where they're building their base and what is our intention right now is to complete this run, get into NWAF. I am sure we're going to bump into a lot more than that. There's two options here. We can either head to our left, which is the route I would normally take, left here through all of the accommodation blocks, the military camp, all the way up to the tents, cut across the field. Uh, or the airway and um, runway and uh, finish off down on the right side but we know there's a three-man team over that way and they could be just coming back to NWAF 
So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to complete the run the opposite way round. And we're going to head for the big crane up ahead. This is a really good uh, sniping position up here. As well as quite a few buildings to loot. Now, while we're doing that, we're not certain that those three have actually come into NWAF. I know the ghillie definitely saw me. Whether or not he's just doubling back to come into here, knowing the direction I'm heading is going to be over this way. Northwesterly direction. In terms of the gear I've got on me, okay, so I'm not highly geared right now, but I do have, obviously, the M16A2 and it's silenced. I do have loads of ammo for that back base. What we're going to do is we're just going to have a little look here. That top of that building there is a really good sniping spot for across the field, the local part of the field. Doesn't appear there's a lot going on. We're going to hit these military areas just here. Always check for mines that someone's already been here. There is night vision goggles on the floor. That is a trap. That is surely a trap. We'll take them anyway. I don't. Yeah, that ain't. <laughs> yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> okay. This could. This is a tactic very dodgy that some people use they'll either be in here behind this door or they'll be logged out in here what was that? Park that off so we are going to cover our tracks a little bit as best we can oh shit there you go gunshots that'll be that team So that is sounding like it's just on that side. There's a used knife there. It sounds like that is just on that side. Outside of here though. Okay, so we now are in a dodgy situation. I'm not going to snipe because I haven't got a scope. So I'm not going to... Oh, shit. That was the last thing we needed there. But we'll take him in here. have to have I got away with that I might have just got away with that you know there's no other dead zombies I can see just yet okay let's quickly go and hit these cooking pot we'll take that This is one of the tactics I always use, okay? So we've just come out of there, we've made a load of noise. And we are now just gonna have a quick kit check. In the woods, pretty safe in a tree. This we're going to use, we're going to get all of that out. We're going to use this now, uh, this time here, just to maximise. No, there is no uh, battery in there. Just to maximise our bullet strength. That is not as loud as what it normally is. We're going to fill that clip a little bit more. With the ammo. So we've now picked up night vision. We've got an M16A2 silenced with a bit of ammo. We're going to now hit the back end of this combat and just see if there's anyone about. Okay, 
Okay, now this is a good little point here. We can see... Is that a body? I thought I just heard something there. is appearing a little strange there are some very strange noises ah oh, fuck there you go dead well there you have it I thought that there was someone there and it turns out there was we're gonna change servers so we've decided to come away from the Chinara server we've just died on and we've gone straight to uh, another official server but this time a Livonia server the reason for that is I think it's a perfect opportunity to test out on the 1.13 update if the loot table has got worse or any better um, so we've seen what it's like on Janaris. Um initially I always find it a little bit easier um, or a little bit quicker to military gear up not food and water but to gain military gear on a Chinara server. Um, so we're now in Livonia. We're gonna go military to military here, probably ended up somewhere down south near Swarog. Uh, we've killed uh, an animal, so we've got some meat. I've got the bare essentials on me. I've got a shovel, uh, I think I've got a crowbar. And we're gonna pick the action up just outside of Nadek. Okay, so there's a slip road. We're gonna go in a back route to Nadek here. And there'll be zombies everywhere up here. We're just going to hit the wall in a minute and we're just going to have a sneaky little look inside just to see if we can see anybody in there running about. They shouldn't be able to hear me and my footsteps in this noisy rain. So there you go, look. That, the zombie's in there. That door's shut. Uh, I think those one of those doors is shut. There's a possibility... Now this may not have been here since the restart, which was a little while ago. We could really do with a gun though, we'll take that. Oh shit, okay, maybe we won't. Well this is pretty much empty, so I totally will do. That can go, and that can stay there, how's that? There's someone here. just outside someone just there can we stun him bear in mind the shovel is nowhere near as strong as it used to be there he is Come on. Good, 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 good. Okay. Jesus, how many times are we hitting this dude? Fucking hell. We'll take his gun off him. So I mean that shovel is looking really really poor but he's got a little bit of gear take those take those take those take his water bottle um, take that take that he's got grenades we'll take those it's always helpful uh, we we'll take his boots as we like those, we'll take them out. get rid of that. We'll take that. Um, I suppose we can take it for the time being. 
So I'm not sure, you know, if he's actually seen me and was trying to stalk me there. Which is very possible. Let's take that drink that as well, because we want the storage. Or whether he didn't know we were here at all. I think he knew we were here because he was out that side and he went round. Um, okay, so we're going to put that there. Tactics we're going to use uh, to throw anyone off our kind of... Oh, hold on. That sounded like someone might be here. Put that away for a minute. Throw anyone off our scent, alright. We are going to create a situation... where we're going to go this way and now the zombies are going to be aggroed over there and anyone that's nearby is going to come to that one in a fight we might have to quickly take care of these We're off now. Let's go. Let's get out of here. It just goes to show you that even if you haven't got a weapon, a gun that is, and other people have, if you go about it the right way, you can still beat them. You can still overcome them. Now, as you will well know from my last... Um, the last time I took you on this route in one of the uh, How to Succeed on Official Servers episodes, um, two key things here. There's two um, military sites just up ahead on the left, but there's also a big tower up here on the right, and that is the place where you are able to see quite a few heady crashes uh, from that one location, if they've spawned in. So we are going to stay away from the military sites on the left because I don't really like them. I don't really like them at all. I think that's Limborg a little bit further on um, and Radunin. Anyway, this one here is Radunin going into Ros uh, oh, At least it's brightening up now. And um, the one a bit further over the hill to the left is Limborg. Now, I don't generally get an awful lot out of those militaries, so I tend to skip them out. Um, plus they're dangerous as hell especially to some really advantageous snipe positions from well outside the compound um, so I, I do tend to stay away from them if I'm hunting players down uh, then I will snipe from this area into the compound so the first thing when I enter this place is I look at the that building there down there the end one, not this brick building in front, the one behind beyond that, because that is probably the top place people like to base build. Two five two one eighty. There you go. So someone's already been taking logs from that. Oh shit! Someone's just taken stuff from that that's on the floor. I'm pretty confident we're going to find a base around this somewhere. Because we don't know what gun we're going to end up with in a minute. This has been hit already, look. Okay. There is nothing there for me on any of those. Yeah, they've been hit as well. Take it for the time being. Okay, so there's going to be someone up there. Look, there's a zombie right at the bottom of that ladder. Okay, so... 
what we need to think about. We need to get out of here, get to an elevated position, and see if that guy is actually on the roof camping. Because if he is, then we may be able to get the drop on him. Which you're about to see. There's a place you can drop down onto. Just there. So you can oversee the whole area to a degree. And this is where Hunter's Scope comes in really, really handy. Because look, you can't see shit with that. We're going to take it a little wider. Ah, oh, there you go, look, there's tents in there. There's the base. Right, okay, so that explains why the zombies in there. There's quite a lot of tents in there. Now, the only way to get in there is going to be to grenade it. What we could do is we can go and, if no one's in there right now, well, we're really sneakily about it. We may be able to get right on top of that and scout it out properly. Now, we could just sit here and camp shit out of that and if only I had a scope because if I can work out if that's got a blue code free dial code on it we're in that but with all these zombies around this is not going to be easy if they've got any sense, there's going to be a four dial code on that. The amount of footsteps around is going to make it really difficult for me to work out if it's one of them or if it's zombies. See, this isn't good. The only other option I've got is to silently take these out. But when I do that, I will be leaving a fucking trace. Get rid of that. I haven't got a knife. I'm going to have to use that. And there's just loads of them that... I just need to see if that is a 3 or a 4 dial code to start with. I reckon these boys are right here. They're trying to build a watchtower. Look. Sight, they would have heard that. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Jesus, look at all those tents in there. If I had another player with me, I'd be able to... Is that a player? Or is that a zombie? Something's just run through that tree line. I 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fucking tents there. Okay, so the door. They haven't done a very good job. Is that a four? That's a four dial there. Okay, so they've got. They have definitely got a four dial inside. This is dodgy as, but we're going to try and do it. They've locked it as well. Okay, I haven't got a lockpick. Uh, night vision. Well, we definitely need those, so we're going to take them. hits that's the position we want problem is we've got a blue backpack let's get some food in us while we're here so the choices we have right now is we miss this out and go to Swarog or we wait this out a little bit as are right now I think they've been here in the last hour anyway definitely but they're not on now, or if they are on, they're out. All of them are out together as a team. Probably in Nadbor. I haven't heard any shots anywhere though. Now, if I had a buddy with me, I could crawl through those windows. But I haven't. Okay, so there's the tree I'm going to position myself in for the time being. And I have no doubt we get in there, there's going to be all kinds of good stuff in there. Okay. We're going to come back to this. And there's a zombie just coming right now up the top of the hill. Okay, their door is open. Doors open, shall we rush it? The zombie there. It's actually open without, I think, without being blown up. So someone must be here. They're very confident if that's the case. We're going to have to go for it. We're going to go for it. It's because the car's in there as well, look. It's going to be someone in here, you watch. Both doors are open. What is going on here? Dumping that. Oh no, I need bags. Night vision. Oh shit. Shit. What is going on here? They must be really close. Come on, 
die, 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 hurry the fuck up. Fuck. Look at this! Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Can we get in and out before they get back? There's a belt. I need a bag. Come on, come on, come on. I need a bag. I need a bag. Any bag at all. I could... I could fill up that fucking car and just drive off. There's a bag. Get that. Jesus. Look at this. Smash and grab. Be careful here. Fuck off. Okay, night vision. Put that off, put that back. They are going to be back any second. Shit in hell, look at that. What is going on? Killed if I ain't careful. There's a player here. Run, 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 for fuck's sake, man. My guy has got no fucking stamina at all. There he is. He's dead. We just have to take the hit. This is not good. Oh, we're gonna have to We're gonna have to get down there quick and we're gonna have to patch. Come on. We're about to die here.
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So we killed a guy just up here. The zombie fest down here. That's what we're gonna have to do, we're just gonna have to make a run for it. out of here quickly. Oh, I've got an extra blood. No, I haven't. I really need to find that bag. I know where the bag is, but I really need to get rid of these zombies. And we'll check this body out if we can, but the amount of noise I've just made is going to be very, very difficult to hide. I should imagine he's going to be calling his mates. So there's a zombie up there. What we really need here is that. Same shit again. It's going to end up on me getting fucking killed. So away we're going to have to go again, try and draw them zombies away. Cargo pants are ruined. My top's badly damaged. I've made loads of noise there. So they've opened the door. The one guy that's here has clearly made loads of mistakes. And that is the problem with not having a, a blood kit. I think we will do. We're gonna make the most of our resources. Because once we do get to a decent health scenario, we're going to need to get out of here quick. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26, 7, 20, 29, 30, 31. We've got 31 grenades out of that. I've left the landmines. We've got a dead body over there we've just killed. We've got a bag full of VSDs and LARs over there. Swarvog's just around the goddamn corner. My health is red. And because I'm so loaded up, I can barely walk. Let's get rid of shit we don't need. We don't need that. We don't need that. I have to be a little bit careful about the noise I'm making here. So we freed up. Okay, so there's someone back. There is someone here now that So there's someone sniping from somewhere. So they're over there. That so that'll be another one of their teams. 
So what we're going to have to do now is we're going to have to make a decision. Do we go back for the bag? Oh, I'm dead. I'm dead. There you go. Jesus, we had loads there. If my health was any better, we could have got out of there. Some people would have logged there, but we were here to play the game. Man, that was frustrating. Okay, so we respawn. Um, we've got a Tarnal spawn. Um, this is my character, and we're going to try to get down south pretty quickly. If we can uh, reclaim anything from that, it will be a good day. The chances are, though, it's going to be remote. I mean, it's going to take me about 40, 35 minutes to get down there as it is. I've got to find food, water. Um, when we get now down near Gerolto, uh, we will take it west um, and then we'll hit our base. I'll briefly show you that and um, and then we'll make our way down if we can before the server resets. So um, there's quite a bit to do. I think we've got about an hour before server resets. So um, yeah, wish me luck. So this is base. So we're just going to eat as much food and get as up to date as possible. Right, let's go. I should imagine they'd have locked up their uh, gates by now. Knowing that I've taken a load of their shit. That's stupid that is, but this is the kind of stuff that happens on here. I see this all the time. <laughs> It's unbelievable. You catch a team at the right at the right moment, the right time, they're gonna be vulnerable and they'll do stupid shit. We all do stupid shit at times. And leaving both of your gates open is just really, really stupid. What I could have oh, there's another thing I could have done. I could have changed the codes on their doors, run in and uh, sealed the doors again. I could have quite easily have done that. And there are going to be players crawling around everywhere down here. Um, so we really, really... So basically at the checkpoint we would have gone left, which is down this road. Halfway down this road is the turning we want to the industrial. Okay, so the tactical plan then is we are going to... Once we've hit the road, we're going to stay on the right hand side in the tree line. Now, bearing in mind, we already know that they're scouting that area out. So we're going to have to be pretty sneaky with it. And we need to get down to the trees where we've dumped this bag. That's objective number one. Once we've done that, and hopefully we've recovered that bag, we are going to be geared in terms of weapons. So we have two options. We could either bug out with what we've got, which should be two LARs and a VSD. Or we can then take the fight to these boys. So I've got a scoped Mosin. The only problem is I haven't got a silenced. I haven't got a bottle to silence it. And if I'm going to do my dirty work, um, then I'm going to have to switch to that VSD if it's if we can find it. That is, um, which is obviously got a silenced and normalised suppressor on it. Okay, so we're at the road where we're going to turn left if there are four or five man or even bigger team than that and they're all logged in then they're going to have watchers out all the way around here we've got four in the chamber That's, oh shit I didn't bring a oh fuck. you see there you go there's there's a real rookie mistake the Mosin's damaged and I haven't cleaned it I had a gun repair kit back at base as well so I'm only going to get a few shots off with this as you can see at the bottom left hand side of the screen, we've got 30 minutes till server reset. So we've actually got down here in quite good time. So we are going to sneak in. We're looking a little bit further ahead, dead ahead, down the bottom of the hill is where we'll be looking. Now we do need to clear this area in case they've got snipers up here. We need to search all. There you go. There's a backpack. Nothing in it, but. Okay, so take that off, put that on. They found the backpack then. Okay. So they have found the backpack. 
I'm just going to double check because it was the black backpack that I dumped. Now I think I dumped it in trees just round where that zombie is. We're going to leave our backpack there. What we really don't want to do, what we can't afford to do, is set off that zombie. But we need to just clear these two trees. Okay, I think it's safe to say that bag's gone. They've reclaimed it. And that's the problem with this area. You've got all those bloody zombies to worry about as well. That's a better position. Oh, that's a really good position. I can actually see in as well. And they are able to open that. Now, if I was giddy suited up here, we'd be good. But we're not. And there's fucking zombies coming up the hill, look. Go on, turn around, piss off. Thank you.